He's been a veteran on the Blue Pencil Comedy stage. Um, cannot stress how much he means to me. Everybody, Ryan Gabjus. <laughs> Hey, give it up for give it up for Matt. He's doing a great job. Woo! A great show. Yes. A few hours ago, I saw on the street a man and a woman uh, pushing a baby in a stroller. <laughs> um. Parents weekend was a while ago. <laughs> Take your baby and get the fuck out. <laughs> so, there's a hot new trend out there called breastfeeding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's not it's uh, well practiced at this juncture in time. <laughs> It's been around, it's seen its mouths of children. Um, I'm no good at it. I'm not, I can't get the hang of breastfeeding. I don't, I've never been breastfed and I, I cannot feed, but I have taken part in breastfeeding because when a woman breastfeeds in public, it becomes a group effort <laughs> of everyone in her immediate radius to not lose their shit over, like, don't. Look at she's breastfeeding. Just don't look at her. Don't look at her. Keep keep it up, you know. So I but I can't do that well. I'm I'm not good at it. Uh, I can't breastfeed. I can't do my part in breastfeeding because when I see I'm so confused. I'm never more confused than when I see a breastfeeding woman because I don't immediately think it's something you have to squint your eyes at to really. Is she? Is that a nipple? <laughs> yeah, it is. And I really have to think, like, I have to think about it so much, it's gross and creepy, and I, for me, it's a natural thing for them to do, I can't, but I can't, I really have to look at it, because it, at first it's such a mysterious thing, it's just this mess of fabric, like, even the baby's being concealed, and it looks like they're, at first, it just looks like they're hiding something, and they're being really sneaky and nasty about it, so I can't get over that, so I have to look for a long time, and it always ambushes you. Because there's no place in public where you can, you can say to yourself, Oh, I'm going out to the park today, and you might see a woman breastfeeding, and you have to deal with that. And it's like, oh, tonight me and the guys are going to go see Mission Impossible 4 Ghost Protocol, and you might see a breastfeeding woman there. There's no telling where they might pop up. So over the summer, I'm at Half Price Books, and I come to the end of an aisle, and there's a woman sitting in a chair breastfeeding, and I don't latch on to this at first, the baby did, <laughs> but I did not, because that would be rude. <sighs> and, um, and so I'm in Half Price Books and she's doing this, and of course I'm like giving the stare, what's going on? What are you doing? And I'm just looking at her, because at first I'm thinking, she's hiding a book. <laughs> she's gonna steal a book. She's sitting here and she's waiting for her window to just bust out with the book that was gonna be half price if she just paid for it. <laughs> and she's sitting there and I'm staring and she returns my stare. Thank you very much. Like, why are you? And so I smile. At her. <laughs> Everything's normal. <laughs> you know, because I might, I'm certainly wrong about her smuggling a book. And <laughs> she's just thinking, yeah, this kid's staring at my child, getting fed, I'm giving it up, and he's looking at me, Ugh. and so I, I can't explain myself away, like, yeah, I'm sorry, ma'am, you, I thought your uh, boob and child were a book, <laughs> I'm sorry, Ugh. you know, when I hear the phrase, me love you long time, uh, and I hear it a lot, because I get, it, it's safe, to say that I, I get hassled by the prostitutes. <laughs> and that old street hassle, I just can't shake it, you know? And, um, but when I hear it, it always disappoints me because I, I hear it so much and I, what it means, what it infers is it's a, it's, you know, it's a tempting offer, like if you sleep with me, then I'm, I'm yours for the night. 
the whole night, I'm going to a long time, you know. But I think, I think about the time aspect of this, because that's not, I don't want a one-night fling out of a woman. That's not what I want. I want the real, I'm talking about the big M marriage. And when I hear me love you a long time, I'm thinking what I really want to hear is me in love with you for a long time. <laughs> a love for all times. I want, I just... <laughs> so get lost, prostitutes, you know? Or just be less ambiguous with your pleas. That's my time, thank you. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs>